0 to 14 because of that fact. Because water, that's the case for water, and then all, everything else falls into place for that. But if that number was 1 times 10 to the negative 16th, then our pH scale would be from 0 to 16. But those two multiplied together always equals 1 times 10 to the negative 14th. So if you knew one concentration, you could figure out the other. Now we start, well, we're using our calculators already, but now we use some things in your calculators that you really, really need to use this log button. Negative log. So the pH equals the negative log of your hydronium concentration. Oh, you did get one. So just for example, let's say I have an H3O concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative 7th molar. And I put that in my calculator. So it's pH equals negative log of 1 E negative 7 in my calculator. Try that once. What do you get? Yeah, it's always molar. Concentration is always in molarity. Yep. So if I go one negative log, 1e negative 7, your answer is 7. So if your coefficient's 1, your pH is always going to be this exponent with the negative taken off. So if it was 1 times 10 to the negative 3, the pH would be 3. 1 times 10 to the negative 12, the pH would be 12. Well, it's not always 1 times something, but in this case, you can see that. Let's say that the H3O is, let's say I have uh, um, 0.1 molar. So example would be 0.1 molar HCl would be like this. And your calculator go negative log of 0.1. What's the pH equal then? What do you got? One. Yep. What about if the H3O plus was 1? Go negative log of 1. 1 molar. pH equals? Everyone do it? What do we got? 0. So if I have a 1 molar solution of an acid, I expect the pH to be 0 if it's a, if it's a strong acid like this. Let's say that now I go above, or I go more than a 1 molar. So now let's just say I'm going to add one more equation here in a little bit, and I'll erase some of these because I have that wonderful power. But let's say that my HCl is 6 molar. I have 6 molar HCl, the same stuff I put on that penny yesterday, which I haven't shown you yet. So now I go negative log of 6. Negative what? 0.77, so... Negative 0.8. So it can go negative, but it only if your H0 goes above 1. That's when it goes negative. <clears throat> right? The last equation is POH. And that is related to hydroxide concentration. Same type of math. But there, hydroxide is related, pOH is related to hydroxide, pH is related to hydronium. So same type of math. We'll do some practice here quick before the end. The practice will be on your homework. We'll just do a few together. Homework is 15-1 and doing these calculations. 15-1 is all about these calculations.
All right, if we look at your worksheet, I want to do number four with you. If you look at number four, we're looking for the pH, and it is a negative log of my hydronium. My hydronium is 3.2 times 10 to the negative fifth. So in your calculator, you can go negative log 3.2 E negative 5. Negative log 3.2 E negative 5. And someone tell me exactly what their calculator says. Mitch, let's hear them all. 4.494850. Wow. My calculator is smart and gives me lots of numbers. I couldn't do that in my head. However, sig figs are a little funky. I for for log, just to make it more funky than it has been in the past. I have two numbers in my concentration, right? You would some of you most of most of you'd say, well it must be four point five then. I'm gonna have two numbers in my pH. Unfortunately it's not how it works. I have two numbers in my concentration. That means I can go two numbers past in my pH. So it's gonna be four point four nine. I'm not gonna get into the math of why that is. In reality I don't know the math of why it is. I'm just following. I'm a messenger. You'll see that in 15.1. It talks about that's how it works. Let's do number eight together real quick because it's different. Actually, yeah, number eight. In number eight, we are given the pH. So, yeah, we're going backwards. We have a pH given to us of 6.7. So now the question is how in the world do we get that H3O plus? Because that's what we want to get, the hydronium concentration. Anyone know how to get there? Those of you that have done, done logs and math. Reverse osmosis. That's what Alex says. That won't do it though. What you're going to, yeah? Uh, not regular log instead of negative. But instead on your calculator you do anti-log, which is a 10 to the x. So on your calculator go anti-log or second log negative, because you still have to take that negative into account, negative 6.7. Go second log negative 6.7. Second log negative 6.7. If it says error, I'll be right there. Negative log. Negative log. Negative. Negative log. Sorry. Second log negative 6.7. Second log, negative 6.7. Now, 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 brown cow, pH and pOH, if you're giving that, now you look at how many past the decimal there are. Here, we had two numbers in our concentration, and we went two numbers past in our pH. Now, we have one number past in our pH. That means we can only use one number in our concentration. So, that means it's just 2 times 10 to the negative 7th. So, whenever you go from concentration to pH, you need to look at where your sig figs are. Here I have one, my, I'm given a pH, I have one number passed, I can use one of my concentrations. In number four, I was given a concentration, I have two total numbers, I can go two numbers passed. Worry more about doing the calculations than about the sig figs, but that's how it works. Okay? Just try your calculations and maybe write out three numbers passed for now and then we can address the sig figs more tomorrow.